السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hello dear student of the first prep grade and welcome to a new session for our program math for free Today we will study lesson 8 from unit 1 and the lesson solving inequality in Q Be attention with me and let's start At the beginning, let's study the property of the inequality. We know that 6 is greater than negative 9. Okay, let's do the properties of inequality on this equality. We start the first one. If we add 2 to both sides of the inequality. So 2 plus 6 greater than negative 9 plus 2 then 8 is greater than negative 7 so this inequality is true the left hand side is greater than the right hand side number two if we subtract 7 from both sides of the inequality so 6 minus 7 is greater than negative 9 minus 7 then negative 1 is greater than negative 16 so the inequality is true number three multiply the both sides of the inequality by five five multiply six is greater than negative nine times five then 30 is greater than negative 45 then the inequality is true number four divide the both sides of the inequality by three six divide three is greater than negative nine divide three then two greater than negative three then the inequality is true so if we use add subtract multiply and divide any positive number in the inequality we have the true inequality but if we use multiply the both sides by negative 1 so negative 1 times 6 greater than negative 9 times negative 1 then negative 6 is greater than 9 and it's wrong because negative 6 is smaller than 9 then the inequality is false number 6 divide the both sides of the inequality by negative 3 then 6 divided negative 3 is greater than negative 9 divided negative 3 then negative 2 is greater than 3 then the inequality is false because negative 2 is smaller than 3 so if we use multiply or divide by negative number we change the value of the inequality and change from true to false if we multiply or divide the both sides by a negative number then we change the sign to the opposite sign generally what we deduce from that probability number one if a is smaller than b then a plus b is smaller than b plus c so if we have two sides and add any number to the both sides the inequality still have the same result but if this number is positive number two if a is smaller than b then a minus c greater than b minus c so in the inequality if we subtract any number from both sides we still have the same result number three if a is smaller than b 
and C is a positive number, then AC is smaller than BC. It's meaning if we multiply any number by both sides, but this number is positive, so we still have the same result. Number four, if A is smaller than B and C is a positive number, then A over C is smaller than B over C. It's meaning if we divide any positive number by both sides, we still have the same result. Number five, if A is smaller than B and C is a negative number, then AC is greater than BC. It's meaning if we multiply the both sides by a negative number, we change the result. So the number was smaller, we'll change it to be greater. Number six. If A is smaller than B and C is a negative number, then A over C is greater than B over C. It's meaning if we divide the both terms of inequality by a negative number, the result will change. So the smaller will be the greater and the greater will be the smaller. Example one, find the solution set of the inequality where x plus two is smaller than five in each of the following. Number one, if x belong to z, z is a set of integer number. Okay, number one, x plus two is smaller than five. By subtracting two from both sides, then x plus two minus two is smaller than five minus two. Then x is smaller than three. Then the solution set equal two, one, zero, negative one, and so on. Number two, if x belongs to n, n it's a natural number. x plus two smaller than five by subtracting two from both sides, then x plus two minus two is smaller than five minus two, then x smaller than three, the solution set equal two, one zero. Number three, if x belong to q, q is meaning rational number. x plus two smaller than five, subtract two from both sides. Then x plus two minus two smaller than five minus two. Then x smaller than three. Then the solution set equal x, where x belong to q. Then x smaller than 3. Another example, find the solution set of each of the following inequality and q, where 4 minus 2x smaller than or equal 2. Let's try to answer this inequality step by step. First, I want to move 4 by subtract 4 from both sides. Okay, so 4 minus 4 minus 2x is smaller than or equal to minus 4. Move 4 with negative 4. Okay, so we have negative 2x smaller than negative 2. Now we will divide each side by negative 2. So the result will be negative 2x divide negative 2 smaller than negative 2 divide negative 2. We will move negative 2 with negative 2 to have x, and negative 2 with negative 2 to have 1. But in this example, if we divide or multiply the both sides by negative, we change the sign. So x is greater than or equal 1. Okay? When we multiply or divide the both sides by a negative number, we change the sign. Then the solution set equal x, where x belong to q, where x greater than or equal 1.
Another example, find the solution set of each of the following inequality in Q, 7 bracket x minus 1 greater than minus x minus 7. At the beginning, should be multiply 7 by the brackets, okay, to get 7x minus 7 greater than minus x minus 6. After this, we should be subtract minus x from both sides, okay. Now we have 7x minus 9x minus 7 greater than minus x minus 9x minus 6, okay. So the result will be negative 2x minus 7 is greater than negative 6. Now we will move negative 7 by adding 7 to both sides. So we have negative 2x plus 7 minus 7 is greater than 7 minus 6. So we have negative 2 is greater than 1. Now we want to move negative 2 by dividing both sides by negative 2. Then negative 2x divide negative 2, greater than 1 divide negative 2, then x is smaller than negative 5. Why we change the sign? Because we divided both sides by negative. Then the solution set equal x where x belongs to q, x is smaller than negative 5. At the end of our lesson today, this is some example. Try to answer by yourself. And if you found any problem, please tell me. And see you in another lesson for our program Math for Free. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.